Hello everyone. Today's video will be a little shorter than usual. The wooden part of the hull is now almost finished. In the next episodes, we will complete the hull with the use of composite materials. We had parted while I was gluing the keel. This is the job done, but it's not quite finished yet. Between the keel and the ballast keel, there is a short connecting appendage that is always part of the keel. The pins that support the ballast keel, called studs, pass through this part. This piece has in its upper part a section similar in shape to the section of the ballast keel, while in the final part, it has the same section and dimension as the latter. We must therefore try to harmonize the transition between these two sections. The problem is that curved shapes can't simply be traced with a ruler and drawing a square. We have to do it another way. I solved the dilemma by printing the ballast keel project on a real scale. I then cut it out and glued it to a wooden panel using it as a template. Here is the template ready to draw the section. Now we will cut three similar sections, but gradually increasing in size, just to make the joint that was already mentioned before. Once the piece has been cut, it must be checked and planned along the edge. The pieces will then be glued together and grouting will be done with resin reinforced with glass fibers to hide the steps between the three shapes of the section. I could have made the second and third sections bigger and planed them, but that would have thrown away a lot of wood and work. Here you see some of the gluing phases. After gluing the three layers of wood seen before, I climbed onto the hull to trace the shape of the ellipse using the model. This is to simplify and make gluing precise. Now let's go forward and take care of the water cutter. This is nothing more than the outer part of the bow stem. 
As the name suggests, it is dedicated to cutting waves at the bow. As has already happened for other parts of the hull, I preferred the use of laminated wood instead of solid wood. This is to improve water and shock resistance. Not being able to use the clamps for obvious reasons, I blocked the wooden slats with staples inserted using a stapler. However, I left a certain margin from the edges, to allow the plane to work the wood without running into some staples that could damage the blade. When the resin has hardened, I planed the two sides of the water cutter, to give a triangular shape to its section. Once the section of the water cutter is planed, it will be finished by cutting the excess ends at the top and bottom. Now only the final connection is missing, which is also useful for decreasing the hydrodynamic turbulence in the angle formed between the keel and the bow. Old wooden shipbuilders once called this piece gripe. I preferred not to reinforce the attachment with metal pins, as in the event of contact with the backdrop or an object the metal could cause greater damage by bending. Furthermore, the strength of the epoxy resin is high. And this part is done too. This was the last wooden part of the hull. From the next video, we will start using composite materials. Kevlar, carbon, and above all glass fabric. Until we meet again.